This laboratory is where Edison worked from 1887 until his death in 1931. It's where he invented the motion picture camera. He improved and developed the phonograph and a number of other products. The Menlo Park Lab is Edison's first major research and development laboratory. It's where Edison and his team invented, developed the, his incandescent electric lighting system. It's also where Edison worked on his inventions related to telephone, and it's where he invented the tinfoil phonograph. If you were an aspiring inventor in the late 19th century, early 20th century, and you were serious about becoming an inventor or becoming an engineer, and you wanted to learn about the cutting edge technology, Menlo Park and West Orange were the places you needed to go to. And people knew that. He begins his professional career as a telegraph inventor. The telegraph in the 1850s, 1860s is the high-tech industry of the 19th century. It's rapidly changing the way the economy operates. And Edison makes his mark by helping to invent systems that allow the telegraph companies to improve and provide better service. He invented the, the first recording machine, the tinfoil phonograph, at Menlo Park in 1877. He decides that he's going to develop the phonograph as an office dictating machine. The first phonograph was used tinfoil, which was a horrible way of recording sound because it wasn't permanent. When it comes to West Orange, they actually decide that they're going to use wax cylinders. And that's a critical shift in sound recording technology. And by about 1882, he's ready to introduce his electric lighting system with the opening of the Pearl Street Central Station in New York City. By the time he comes to West Orange, he's an internationally famous inventor. He wanted to use the lab to turn out inventions quickly on a regular basis, manufacture them in factories that he controlled, and then take the profits from the sale of those, of those products and plow them back into the laboratory. Edison he has enormous self-confidence in his abilities and in his abilities of his laboratory. And that allows him to work on things where, you know, maybe conventional wisdom said, maybe that's not such a good idea. He had faith in himself, but also his workers and his laboratory that they were well equipped to tackle just about any problem that that was presented to them. The laboratory that survives today gives you a clear idea of how Edison conceives of the R&D process. You get a sense of what he thought was important for being a successful innovator. Mm -hmm.